Hello there, um, Sammy here. I just wanted to pop on. Oh God, look at the state of my hair. Lordy. I um, just wanted to pop on and um, let you know what I've been up to. So last weekend, last Friday and Saturday, we had the Blooms event, which was an online gallery and it was absolutely amazing. There was um, 11 artists that we all belong to the uh, art collective, the Blooms and we all work in various different styles and mediums and um, we had just the most fabulous show I just can't um, say how great it was for me as the artist um, having people come to my studio and see my work and discuss my work with me so you know it just was fab fabulous but we also had brilliant feedback um, lots of people were saying how they um, felt the show had sort of an awful lot of energy about it even though they were at home some of them on their sofas with their laptops and going around the studios um, seeing the work of the artists and discussing the work of the artists and they said it was just a real good vibe a real good buzz um, I must say though the after show party um, via Zoom um, was brilliant um, the girls were such a scream. Um, I will say on the Friday night I didn't party as hard as I did. On the Saturday night and Sunday I had a cracking headache but it was all in a good cause. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm doing at the moment, I'm working on two pieces um, which are quite small for me. They're 30 by 30. I don't normally work this small. Um, but um, I had a request if I could com complete some work. So um, what these pieces are, they're for someone's bathroom. So I'm actually painting them in acrylics. And so I'm using acrylic paint and also um, acrylic pens to create this piece of work. And when they're finished, I'm gonna coat them in resin. So it has a lovely glassy uh, texture feel to it and also it'll protect it because it is in the bathroom um, yeah so that's what I'm doing today so I've finished one piece let me show you that I don't know you can see there's different shades of blues and greys and I've also got some metallic paint in there as well so there's that one and I'm halfway through this piece do a bit more work on it um, and then they will be resin. Um, the brief I had for these pieces um, was to have a bit of a Moroccan feel about them you know the, like the Moroccan tiles so I started off by um, researching because I haven't been to Morocco so I started off by researching um, Morocco and the buildings and the tilings and the gardens and, and and looking online and getting photographs to build up um, a picture um, also looking at the colours these colours were um, stipulated by the client um, which was lovely because actually she gave me a lot of freedom in the colours and the designs. Let me just get you designed. This was, I was looking at um, different tiles that they use. And um, so I was started out just drawing out and painting out a different tile. And I quite liked that, but I thought it was too formal. And the, the client has, um, her, her her personality is is one where she's just uh, she's very vivacious, very bubbly, and um, I thought that was that was too formal for her because there's so much depth to her and the qualities that she has, and she she also loves pink, and so I was quite surprised to have to request all the different shades of blues. But I don't know if you can see, I've put some little pink flowers in there 
just to lift it a bit and also to to link it with her um so yes i'm enjoying doing these at the moment i will post a picture of the finished artwork um hopefully she'll like them fingers crossed um if not i'll go back to the drawing board um because it's very hard when you when you have a commission to paint what someone actually has in their head so when i take on a commission i do ask a lot of questions about the color the size the if they have any designs in mind um where they're wanting to get where they're getting their inspiration from from what they're seeing in their head and um, it might be a piece of music or uh, in this case it, it was a certain garden in morocco and so i take all that on and i'll come up with a, a range of ideas and thoughts um been very lucky with this one is that the clients give me free range because they've um, got a couple of pieces of my work already so they know what my work is about they'll know the amount of um, research that i will have put in to these pieces um so anyway so if anyone um is interested in finding out more about my work seeing more about my work please go to my website that's www.track5art that's track the number five then art dot com and uh, it will bring you to my website and um, there's also my instagram page and my facebook page which is just sammy hexter andrews artist so I look forward to seeing you soon. I will post these up when they're finished and I'll let you know how it went down with the client. See you later. Bye bye.